welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me because it has been that long since I have sat down and done a chit chat get ready with me. So I'm ready. I hope you guys are too and let's just go ahead and get into it. I have so much to talk about. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my eyes today. I've decided to try out the Tarte Shape Tape again. So I was sick a little while ago, which is why my voice sounds funny. And I literally got over the sick sickness. I literally got over the sickness probably like a week or two ago now. But you know when you fly and you've just gotten over your sickness like a day before you fly so that it just makes it worse and it makes you feel shitty? Well, that literally happened to me. And then when I was in Sydney, I lost my voice completely. And I don't feel sick or anything. It's just like I won't stop coughing now and... <laughs> I actually sound like a man and in two days because today's Friday so on Sunday I'm leaving for Japan and it's like an 11 hour flight and I just know it's gonna fuck my throat up so bad okay so for my eyes today I really want to try out this glitter palette here from Too Faced but I feel like I need to go in with some colors so literally just before I started filming, I felt like I was like dying of hunger. So I ordered some Uber Eats because I'm that lazy. I can't even go to the shops and make myself bruschetta. I'm just using my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here. Yeah, so my Uber Eats driver, it like said she was here. And then she didn't come up for like five minutes. And I was like, where is she? And then all of a sudden I like hear her yelling at... <laughs> I like heard her yelling and I was like okay shit like is she here so I go outside and she's like at my neighbor's house like yelling at my neighbors and I'm like Fuck. I was just like this is so awkward and I like went outside and tried to get her attention and just as I went outside to be like hey over here she like went around the other side of the house and I was like Fuck. and then she calls me <laughs> And, I, and she's like, I'm out front of your house. I was like, I don't think so. I think you're next door. And then she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And like came around, but oh my God. Hopefully my neighbors weren't home and that's why they didn't open the door to her. And then I'm just gonna grab this like reddish color here. So anyway, like I said before, I was in Sydney because I went to an event for Mecca for their launch of their new Mecca Max products. Carrie and I did a little vlog. So I will link that below if you guys do want to check that out it's so funny because in the vlog like I only ever vlog when I'm with Kerry I'm with him every single day because we live together obviously so it's not hard for us to just take a little bit of time out to like vlog and I got comments on my vlog of Kerry and I being like do you guys have friends like or do you only hang out with each other why do they only hang out with each other and I'm sitting there thinking well one I'm not gonna go and vlog Kerry's friends like hey Kerry I know you're with your friends but do you mind if I just come chill with you guys and like vlog what's going on like no that's so weird and I don't vlog with my friends because <clears throat> I spend time with them I don't even snapchat when I'm with my friends like I just hang out with them so <laughs> yes I have friends like just because I'm not posting them on my social media I feel like now it's like if you didn't post it on social media it didn't happen which is not how it should be like spend time with your friends have fun it's fine like it doesn't mean that you don't have friends if you don't post with them I'm actually going to Japan with one of my friends but I'm so excited to be going to Japan it actually takes so long on my eyes come on Bella so I'm gonna start out with the intensifying base honestly black is such a scary color okay I'm gonna stop talking right now because otherwise I just know I'm gonna mess this black up <laughs> give me a second hun all right I'm back looking like a raccoon and I'm going to grab the shade Splash from my glitter palette and start applying this over the black. Oh my goodness, I literally have to tell you guys the funniest thing happened to me. I think it was the Sunday just gone. I went out for literally the first time ever. I've never been out on like a Sunday. I hardly ever go clubbing like in general. Honestly, I, I literally had the best time and I'm definitely planning on going back out. But, um, so some girl came up to me and asked if she could look something up on my phone. And I didn't know what to do because she kind of just like took the phone out of my hand. And I thought she was just like following herself on Instagram or something like that. I didn't really think too much of it. And then all of a sudden she holds the phone up to me and she's like, why did you block me two years ago? <laughs> and I was like, well, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. 
But I was like, oh, like, I only block people who are rude. I'm sorry. And then she says it again. She's like, why did you block me on Instagram two years ago? I was like, I just fucking answered your question. So anyway, I like touch her and I'm like, I only block people who are rude to me. And then she goes, don't fucking touch me, bitch. <gasps> I was like, holy shit, this is actually happening because I blocked someone. People start kind of like trying to get in between us, like my friends and the people that I'm with were like getting in between us. I could kind of like see her from the corner of my eye, like behind every everyone. I could see like her little head popping up. She looked like an angry little rabbit or something. She like pulled my friend and like hurt my friend and the next thing I know like I kind of turned to her and I was just like oh you're embarrassing yourself and then next thing I know she like pulled my hair and I fell off my chair onto the ground it was so whack like honestly just the strangest thing that's ever happened to me because I was just like I can't imagine being that angry that someone blocked me two years ago you know what I mean like story on top of a story in high school, I went to Kerry's um, formal and I got my makeup done by a makeup artist who came to my house. She was really lovely and did such an amazing job of my makeup. And I was recommending this lady to my friend like a week or so after the formal because my friend wanted to know like uh, where I got my makeup done. And I realized that she blocked me on Instagram and I was like... <laughs> I was like, I don't understand. She's unblocked me now for some reason. I don't know because I like went to look. My friend is getting her makeup done and I was recommending, um, <clears throat> she asked where she could get her makeup done and I was recommending this woman again, which is like a week ago and I've realized that I'm unblocked. <laughs> Moral of the story, I wasn't mad about it. Like I didn't go up to her and I was like, why did you fucking block me? I just thought it was so weird that someone could be that mad about getting blocked two years ago. Luckily I wasn't hurt or anything. I think I was just like too drunk to get hurt by <laughs> or to feel anything. And the best part of it is that she had commented on, so I did a video in collaboration with a company and they uploaded it the same morning she had actually commented on that video that the company had uploaded of me and my friend my friend sent me a screenshot because I kind of had a joke at the start of it. I was like, oh, I'm wearing this to the gym. Um, and then five seconds later, I'm like, I'm totally kidding. This would be great for the club. And she commented on it and she goes, what the fuck? Gym makeup. Yeah, just fucking going to the gym with my pink eye. Hey, and like tagged her friend. <laughs> Some people are just like have so much anger built up inside them. Definitely planning on going out again soon because I actually had that much fun and I met so many people. It was the best night. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the Man Eater Eyeliner from Tarte. And in my Tarte video, I was so mad because it broke and then I couldn't wind it back up. Turns out you just push it like this and it comes up itself. I was literally so mad when it broke. I was like, are you kidding me? I paid how much money for this and it has the tiniest little pin tick amount of product. Whenever I'm um, like not speaking on camera or I'm doing something off camera, like I finished my eyeliner off camera and my... Smoky Eye. I've been watching American Horror Story. It's season four, Freak Show, because I had watched the first one, Murder House, I believe it is. I watched that as soon as it came out, and I'm about to finish it soon, so I need some TV show recommendations, honestly, please. Tell me your fave Netflix show. Just gonna pop on my queen booze. Okay, time to get started on the face. So I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I think this is just like the original one. I am actually so excited for the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collaboration to come out. Now foundation, I'm using the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation. This one is in the shade Ivory. But who else is going to be buying it? Have you guys seen like the colors and stuff yet? It looks so nice. The planes here are that annoying. Oh my god, my whole eyebrow pen just fell out. So many people are like confused about my living situations. I mean, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. I live with my boyfriend and Mia and the other two dogs live with my parents who I'm moving back in with in October. So the reason we rented is because my parents have a, I'm just gonna load this on. My parents have a separate little house on their block of land. So they have like an acreage and um, there is a granny flat in it. I don't know what 
people overseas call that because every time I mention a granny flat people are like what is that? The reason we moved out here and got our own place for six months is because in that place we have to paint the whole thing and then we're getting the flooring redone. The internet there was really bad so obviously I need internet so Carrie and I decided to get our own place and our lease is up in like October and I couldn't be more excited to like move out. Oh my goodness. First of all, the planes. They're a problem. Like, excuse me, hi. I know you're trying to get somewhere but I'm just trying to film down here and I'm so excited to not pay rent. <laughs> I want to save up for like a house. Like I want to buy a house. So not paying rent every week is honestly gonna help me save so much. I cannot wait to buy my first house. I can get as many dogs as I want. My parents said when we move back into the granny flat, they're gonna let me foster dogs. I'm so excited I get to foster one dog at a time. I'm really excited and I wanna start this Instagram. Okay, let me know what you think of this idea. I've wanted to start it for ages for like Hunter, Mia and Bo. I'm gonna order them like cute little dog clothes and I'm going to like take really nice photos of them probably on like this camera like high definition really nice photos and like upload them and upload photos of them in different outfits and what I was thinking is when I start fostering dogs to help them get adopted I'm gonna um make this Instagram all about them so when I have the first dog that I'm fostering I'm gonna upload a photo of it like every week or two photos every week of the dog in like a really cute little outfit just show like how adorable and cute this dog is and I'm gonna do that every week until they get adopted for all of the dogs that I'm gonna foster that's like my plan something that I really want to start up is like a dog business so this might sound weird I would like to start designing like dog beds and dog clothes and shit that might be way too much dog bowls and stuff like that because when I was shopping for Mia's like dog bowls and stuff like I'm not gonna lie I'm a bit bougie and I want them to be nice like I want them to be cute but I could not find any that like I really wanted <laughs> it sounds so lame but what I wanted to do was like start up this business and then I'll sell them and have like percentage going to like animal shelters and stuff like percentage of every purchase that is made purchasing like my dog items and cat items and maybe even like little mouse items and stuff like that. Yeah, a percentage of it will go to animal shelter, to helping homeless animals and stuff. Because at the moment, I have um, a few where every month a certain amount of money is taken out of my account to go to these dog shelters and organizations that I really support, one of them which I definitely recommend you guys go and check out. It's called Rescue Dogs in New York City. So I know it's in New York and it's not Australia, but this is one of the ones I support because they honestly do the most amazing work. They save so many animals and um, it's just really nice seeing the before and after photos, like when they first got them of the dogs that were mistreated and stuff like that. And then they've gone and got them in the vet and they've just literally t turn their life around. Everyone knows like how much I love animals and all I've wanted to do with my life is work with animals or <laughs> work with like criminals and stuff. Now I'm just using my Laura Mercier bronzer. This is in the shade Bronze 02. I volunteer at the RSPCA and I see the dogs that are there for a long time and stuff like that and I just didn't want to adopt a puppy because they go so quickly but I fell in love with Mia and I was like to my dad because my dad was there and I was the, like the only way I'm gonna adopt this dog is if you let me foster dogs and my dad was like yes you you will be able to foster dogs and I guess it's kind of like a good thing because this way I'm gonna be helping out way more dogs than if I just adopted one old dog you know and it's good because the dogs that I have Hunter, Mia and Bo they're all so incredibly friendly when I brought Mia home Hunter and Bo holy shit it just made me love them so much more because I just can't even tell you like Bo, he will pay, play rough with Hunter, not like hurt him or anything, but he will play rougher. But with Mia, when she was a little puppy, he was so incredibly just gentle and loving and just wanted to take care of her, both of them. When we first brought Bo home and we only had Hunter, where's my contour? First, okay, Bo is like, the thing you have to understand about Bo is he is like, honestly, such a wuss dog. Like if you go, he gets scared. So when we brought him home to meet Hunter, we had him in the lounge room in a big open area and we brought Hunter out. And Hunter like came over very slowly and as he came over, Bo started freaking out. He started going, like it actually, our neighbors would have thought we were like abusing a dog. That's how bad he was freaking out. He was like, ah, ah. 
now they love each other and he only freaked out for literally like two minutes yeah hunter was just such a good like big brother oh, i just love my dogs <laughs> for my blush today i'm gonna be using this one from tarte it's in the shade party Oh wait, it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna be bringing back an oldie. The Astralis Banana Powder is making a comeback. For highlighter, I'm gonna try out this one from Ofra. It is the Blissful Highlighter. And then for lips, I have no idea what color to do. I think I might go. I might go with the Jouer Lip Cream in Creme Brulee. Honestly, like I hate liquid lipsticks now though. <laughs> I used to use nothing but, but now I hate them. Keep it too orange, huh? And before I finish the video, really quick, just back on the pulling hair it's in it at the club. I just want to mention how um, understanding and like wonderful the club that I was at was of the incident like they were honestly so nice and so understanding okay so that is the end of this video I'm so happy that I just got to sit down and catch up with you guys I really hope you enjoyed and if you did please make sure to give this a thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you next time bye